friends, I'm Valeria at Chase and Paper. Welcome back to my channel. Today I would like to show you how to make this beautiful and simple triple pockets from one page. And I'll tell you a secret, I actually make them into four pockets, but we'll get to that. So this is what they look like. You have a pocket on top. You have a pocket in the middle. And you also have a side pocket over here. They are really easy and fast to make and you can get really creative with decorating the pockets and putting all sorts of fun ephemera in. Now, what can you do with the finished pocket? It makes a perfect addition to any junk journal. You can clip it onto the page or you can glue it onto the page. And if you put your glue on the three sides of the back of the pocket only, that's going to create an extra pocket to put something else behind. So like a secret tuck spot. These are perfect for my Christmas junk journals and I know they're going to be perfect for yours as well. You're going to love them. I'm going to show you how to make this simple, quick and beautiful pockets. But before we begin, could you please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and make sure to share this video with a friend. This is really going to help my channel grow. All right, let's begin. I'm going to begin with the standard letter size paper, which measures 11 inches by eight and a half inches. So this is your standard printer paper. To make things more interesting, I'm using a pattern paper from this set. So this is Everyday Essentials by Park Lane. You can use um, your regular printer paper and you can print out some printables, like digital printables that you have. Or you can use pattern paper, just like I do, or you can even use a book page. Anything works for this project as long as you start with the rectangular sheet of paper. And make sure that it's not a heavy card stock, but about the thickness of your regular printer paper so that it folds easy. Your good side with your print should face the table. And now, white side is facing me. I'm going to fold this sheet like this lengthwise, almost in half, but I'm going to leave about a half inch strip right here on my right side. Easy enough. Now I'm going to put some glue on this white strip of paper. I'm using Scotch Create glue stick. You can use any glue you like. And I'm going to fold it over like this and glue it shut. Now with the seam on the right side, flip over your paper and fold up the bottom edge about half an inch. Just fold it up like this, crease it. Now with this bottom folded, let's bring our bottom all the way up to the edge of our paper and crease. And now grab this front top side and bring it down to the bottom again, like this. Now take this little folded edge and fold it over to the back, all the way to the back and that is it. Technically your pocket is now ready. All we need to do is glue it closed. That's simple enough, right? So let's unfold just the top layer of our paper, just like this, just up. And we are going to put some glue right on the side, left side only from the crease down to the bottom. And this is just our glitter glue, which I transferred into a smaller bottle. And we close it. So this left side is done. 
Now let's open it down this way, like this. And let's put some glue now on the left and right side. Up to the crease, or rather from the crease down to the bottom, like that. And we close. And let your glue dry. Now let's go ahead and glue this bottom part closed. And the way I like to do it, I'm going to snip off two little corners right here on this little flappy part, just up to the crease, just like that. And now, as you can see, we have two flaps. We do not need this bottom flap, so I'm just going to tear it off. You can cut it off if you prefer. And now I'm just going to put some glue on this flap to seal our pocket on the bottom. And it's done. The basic construction of our pocket is finished. And now we have three pockets right here. There's one pocket on top. There is one pocket right here on the front. And there is one side loading pocket right here. Now for the fun part, let's decorate our pocket. I'm going to use this fun little snippet from Tim Holtz Christmas ephemera collection. And I'm actually going to turn it into another small little pocket on the front. Add in some art glitter glue on three sides of the pocket, the sides and the bottom. And I'm putting it right here, a little closer to the left side. And I'm going to add this little Christmas sticker right here, closer to the right side. And now to decorate the top of our pocket, I'm going to start by layering some washi tapes. Tearing off just a small piece and I want a really torn edge on it. And I'm going to place it right here, closer to the right side. And you can cut off this edge or just fold it inside the pocket. I like folding it in. This way there's less chances of anything peeling later on. And I'm going to add another piece of washi tape. There, I'm going to use another piece of ephemera, this beautiful holly with red berries. And I'm definitely going to let it extend to the top of the pocket. And because the top of these leaves will be visible in the back, I just went ahead and inked it a little bit in the color antique linen, which is a beautiful dark beige color, almost looks like tea stain. And it looks very nice from front and back. All right, now let's go ahead and add some fun ephemera. I'm going to add this beautiful antique postcard to our top pocket. And this fun piece of ephemera into our tiny front pocket right here. And this candy cane to our larger front pocket. And now all we have to do is to put something into our side loading pocket. And I actually like to make a little special tag to go in there. And I like to use the Steam Holds craft stock for this. It's a kind of a heavier craft card stock. If you don't have that, you don't have to use it. You could just use a cereal box or um, maybe an index card or two index cards glued together. But the point is you want something thicker to go into this pocket because if it's just a paper, you're going to have a hard time putting it in and pulling it out. 
And I'm going to use this brown color cardstock. And I'm just going to measure it against my pocket like this. Marking it with my pencil just a little smaller than the pocket width. Let's see if it actually fits. And it fits really well. So now I, that I pushed it in all the way as far as it can go, I'm going to go ahead and mark about half an inch extending out of the pocket. And I'm going to cut that on the marks. And I'm going to create a little tab here. I'm going to use the regular manila folder. What I'm using it for is to just trace the side of the tab lining up the edge of my manila folder with the edge of the cardstock and i trace there then i'm gonna flip flip it over to trace the same side and just make however long you want your tab to be but trace it on the other side, like that. All you have to do is cut out on the line that you traced. There. Now let's go ahead and round two corners on the left side of our tag. Now, because these corners don't really fit into my corner chamfer, I'm just going to round them with my scissors. Like that. Now, I'm going to go ahead and ink the edges of my tag with my Distress Oxide in a vintage photo. And now I'm going to pierce a little hole right here towards the bottom of our tab. I'm going to use my Crocodile Big Bite. There we are. And now I'm going to set an eyelet. I'm gonna use this gold one. and there we are now let's add a little fun cluster to the tab i got a couple of pieces of ribbon about one and a quarter inches long or so and some plaid ribbon and kind of a sparkly gold ribbon and i'm going to use this tiny little piece of ephemera I'm going to punch a hole in the corner of this little ephemera piece. There. And I'm also going to use a little bit of baker's twine. So I'm going to tie the twine onto the pin. Like this. I'm going to pierce these ribbons with my garment pin and let it sit all together as a cluster and add my little piece of ephemera. And now I'm gonna go from the front to the back of our tab and close that little pin. And there we are, our cluster is ready. I'm just going to cut the ends off of my twine and our pocket is now finished and this is how we make our pockets i think it turned out really cute you can make a bunch of these they don't have to be christmas pockets you can obviously make it into any theme and you can use any materials that you have on hand so i hope you like this little project if you do please give this video a thumbs up 
subscribe to my channel and do let me know in the comments if you think you're going to give these pockets a try. Thank you for spending time with me today and I'll see you next time.